What's going on, Fabrication Army? Welcome to Fabrication Friday, the weekly show here at Car Audio Fabrication where I answer one of your questions from the previous week. This week, Kevin asked this. What is the best products to protect MDF spacers in the doors to protect them from water and moisture? Thanks for the question, Kevin. So what Kevin is asking about is how to finish off a custom speaker adapter. If you're not familiar with speaker adapters, let me give you some insight. Oftentimes in the car audio install, we want to install a speaker into the doors, but unfortunately, we can oftentimes not fit our nice new aftermarket speakers into the OEM location. The speaker might be too big or too small for the hole, or the mounting depth behind that speaker mounting surface might not be deep enough or there might be a window that comes down in the way. So we have to add a spacer that not only adapts the size of the speaker, but spaces the speaker away from that mounting surface so that the large aftermarket magnet doesn't hit anything inside the door. For this reason, we'll oftentimes fabricate a custom speaker adapter ring that can be used to solve these issues. And I've actually covered it and some of the other solutions that you can use in a previous video. What's very important to understand about the door mounting location is that it's very easy for moisture to get inside your doors. In fact, that's often why there's a thin plastic sheet behind the door panel. It actually protects moisture from getting into the interior of your vehicle. Now, I want to make an important note. Even if you live in a dry climate, you often are going to take your car through a car wash. So it's still going to be exposed to moisture. Now, here's the deal. MDF wood is a great material for fabricating, but unfortunately, once it's exposed to water, it degrades quickly and it can swell. So MDF must be protected. So how do you protect this MDF? That's what Kevin wants to know. Well, there's actually a couple of options. First of all, you can coat it with a layer of fiberglass resin. A careful coating will keep moisture out, but that's actually probably the most basic method. The second option that I feel is a little bit more legitimate is using a truck bed lining material. So my recommendation if you want to go that route would be to hit up one of your local guys that does bed coating for trucks and ask him what it would cost to do a set of speaker adapters. They're really small, so odds are it's going to be fairly cheap. The only problem with using the bed lining material is it is thick, so you may have an issue with how the speaker adapter fits on the door, or you may even have an issue with getting the speaker into the speaker adapter, and obviously that's a problem. Now, although these are both methods that you can get by with, I still have to say they're not optimal, and here's why. Now, the second that you add any sort of fastener in order to hold that speaker within the adapter, you're adding a hole through that waterproofing surface. The water can once again get into the wood and degrade it and make it swell. So overall, my recommendation is to not use MDF at all. Fabrication techniques have advanced quite a bit in the previous years, and it's become more and more popular to use plastic for this particular application. I actually happen to know a guy that has a great how-to tutorial here on YouTube about how to make plastic speaker adapters. The advantage of using a material like ABS, HDPE, PVC, or King Starboard is they're very dimensionally stable, they're waterproof, and they're actually easier to use than you might think. Check out that video for more details. I actually have a link down below in the description for all the particular materials that I like to use. Now, I know, I know, plastics, more expensive than wood. And while this is a DIY channel, I'd like to keep it a DICY channel. That's right, a Dickey channel or do it correctly yourself. In the end, I feel that you're gonna be more satisfied and you're actually gonna probably spend less time if you just make them out of plastic in the first place than if you make them out of wood and then mess around with trying to waterproof them. Trust me, after years of trying to do things the cheap way, I'm trying to save you guys some headache here, just do it the right way right from the get-go. That's really what this channel is all about, is I wanna make a push to do things correctly in car audio. Now, before we end this video, I wanna remind you guys that in order to keep the Fabrication Friday videos alive, I really need your questions. So if you can let me know some of your questions down below in the comments, that would be appreciated. Also, you can keep up to date with some of my latest projects on Instagram at Car Audio Fab, and you can drop me a line there with your questions as well. A special thanks goes out to all the Car Audio Fabrication Patreon fans for helping make these videos possible. If you would like to help support this channel and get some additional behind the scenes perks, you can check that out by clicking the link to Patreon down below. If you're new to my channel, I have a bunch of other videos over here. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. If you could slam that like button, that would be appreciated. Now I wanna give you guys a little bit of a preview about what's going on with Project Rebuild here on screen. 
In the meantime, a special thanks goes out to Ivor, Emmanuel, Rory, Eddie, Richard, Mark, Truman, and Jerry, along with all the other Patreon supporters for their support in making these videos. All right, guys, stay tuned in so that you can see my next video. It's likely going to be about the trunk build on Project Rebuild. Thanks again for watching.